Here's another question that more than one of our viewers had, so I thought I would make a video. And it has to do with a video I made a few years ago about building a driveway in sections. And I will put a link to that video in the comment area, or in the video description box, or both. So in the other video I'm referring to, I had the rebar running through and connecting all of the slabs together. And I would suggest doing that instead of doing it like this. And it will probably make more sense by the time you finish watching the video. So basically, if you're going to cut the rebar into sections and not have it running through, and again, even if it just runs through a foot and you connect the next rebar to it before you pour the other section, that should work also. So let's just go ahead and run through the sections here. I'm not going to provide a lot of details because, again, I don't recommend doing this. So again, we have the rebar separated and each individual slab will basically be its own separate unit and will not be connecting to each other. So again, hope this makes sense. The drawings that I've done here. Again, we're not connecting on this side. We're not connecting on this side. And when it's all said and done, you're going to end up with a flat surface and it's going to look great. It's going to be nice and flat all the way around if you did your job correctly. However, that might not be true in the future. And I really can't tell you how long it's going to last because your driveway could remain flat or within acceptable conditions for a long period of time, decades even. However, if you have a section of the driveway that lifts up or raises for some reason or lowers for some reason on one section, then you're going to end up with a problem like this. However, with the rebar, it can hold the two separate pieces together under minor erosion or lifting problems. I'm not talking about major soil erosion or huge tree roots because I've seen that actually just crack the concrete around the rebar. And I don't even think we would ever need the rebar if we weren't going to plant anything around the driveway or if the soil wasn't ever going to get wet because a lot of times when soil gets wet it expands and even concrete can expand when it's wet and contract when it's dry. So when you have soil and concrete getting wet and then drying out and expanding and contracting, then there's a very good chance you're going to end up with some cracks in your driveway or worse yet, sections underneath the driveway that are either lifting from tree roots or the soil is eroding from water, washing it away. And when you finally have enough of that soil washed away, it's only a matter of time before someone drives a heavy vehicle on top of the driveway, breaking a section of the concrete slab or forcing one of the sections down and then lifting the other section up. 